Welcome again to Military Guna TV. Thank you very much for joining me. And today we want to discuss Virgo Boys. As you guys know, um, we're a few days away, just a few days away, but yet still the squad is not out. What are they waiting on? What are they waiting on? So those are some of the things we're going to get into, guys. So guys, remember, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're here for the first. Definitely, these are regular content that we drop on a regular basis about the reggae boys all thing reggae boy all thing jamaican football and i'm thinking about venturing into a few different things surrounding the, and the jamaican football aspect of things as you guys know so yes recent outcry about the jff wanting um hopefully you guys are seeing my screen you're wanting the fans to come in unison um to ask or call out the british government um, about to relax the quarantine measures so that we can feel our best players. Now, JFF cry out, cry out quite early about that situation. Now, the problem is this now. Yes, you cry out for that for, for units now. You cry out to the fans and all those type of things. But at the end of the day, we still need the squad. We still need the squad. The squad must be released at some at some point in time. The players must be contacted. All those players that you are waiting on, are you that you are you're trying to, to, to get or even you're going to use, you must at some point particular point in time reach out to those players and say, okay, you guys are going to be the one selected, just in case nothing um pull, pulls through. But what we're having at this moment, we are not seeing any squad. <laughs> no one knows what's happening, and we're five days away. Five. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Five days away from our first game. Five games, five days away from our first game. And there's no, the squad hasn't been released as yet. My concern is this now. Other teams have released their squad. And other teams are who are actually in the red listed zone have released their squad. Points to note. These squads also consist of players that are in the Premier League. These squads that are released of players that are in the Premier League. One, are those nations just have more backbone than us? They're, those nation federations have more backbone than us. Two, are the players are the ones willing to take, to take that risk? Because I'll be getting into that soon about the aspect of players. And three, we don't have any backbone. <laughs> Our players don't want to take any risk. So those are my three concerns, people. Those are my three concerns. And those are three things that I want to highlight to you guys. Now, when you look at it, I saw the, 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 the Mexico, Mexico squad. Jimenez is in, it, is in it. I saw the USA squad. Pulisic is also in it. Sargent is in it. Sargent is playing for Norwich. So, obviously, these teams must have had something um, to factor in. Because I remember clearly... That the Premier League clubs don't want to let go of these players because so called they are going to be playing in red listed zone. Now, does that make sense? So why release those players then? If is it a case in which that we can move the games into USA and play play against Mexico in USA? Can we play against Mexico in USA and use a home tour in which we can also have fans? Because we know that in Jamaica right now, we can't have fans in the stadium. So moving the, the, the game into the USA, is that a viable option? So that we can also have fans overseas can come and visit and watch a game? Is that a viable option? Or move the game to England? But I doubt those teams would want to travel so far. So why not USA? In which most of the teams already participate in a previous Gold Cup and they understand the ins and outs and they know the places that they can go to host those games and, and the venue will be prepared and all those things. So it would not be that difficult to focus and also get, also get those things sorted out. These are factors, people. These are factors that I'm trying to highlight. And I'm, I'm just looking to it. I'm actually, I'm really, really looking to it because why not? Why not try these things? One, the USA issue, we're gonna we, we might not have Ravel Morrison. That's the problem with the USA issue. Well, we don't we wouldn't have Ravel Morrison because he would not be able to travel to the USA. No, secondly, so that so other countries who are also in the red listed zone can have their, their players or can put their players' name on the list, but 
we are afraid to do so. What is it? Uh, is it a case that we're just waiting on the, the, the bigger nations to make a move, then we follow through? Uh, don't, as I said, don't we have backbone for ourselves? We can't be that. We 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 we, we cannot stand on our own feet, um, feet like that. We cannot stand up and, and not rely on someone in every situation. At some point in time, we must can defend and talk for ourselves. Is it that we don't have good enough lawyers, good enough representation? These are all pointing back to JFF, I, I would assume. But it's in, it's in, it just I just don't understand. Oh, is it that it's five days away from the um from the World Cup qualifiers game, from the first World Cup qualifiers game, but yet still the squad hasn't announced. Questions Do these players know who is going to be representing the nation? Which one of these players got an email that they will be representing the nation and they know the circumstance around it? Is it the case we're gonna have some how we come up business like what we normally do and give any and any player um the, 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 the invitation. So we need to we need to work on these things. Now uh, in all aspects, the squad must be released. So it makes no sense you hold on to the squad. Release, it can't be that disappointing that you are so afraid to release it. It cannot be that it cannot be that disappointing that you are so afraid to release the squad JFF. It, it just can't be. <laughs> I can't see it as that. But in all aspects, people, we need to know because we need to see the squad. Um, five days away. Are they waiting on the Premier League? Um, this Premier League uh game weekend to finish. So maybe Sunday, I think Sunday, tomorrow, Sunday will be the last game weekend. And they will say, okay, let's assess which one of these players are in better form or which one of these players can come and play for us. Now let's move on to aspect of the players. FIFA. It is, it is situated that any player that wants to represent their nation, it will be upon the player's decision. It will, boil, it will, it would, it would actually boil down to the player's decision to come and represent their nation. That is where everything boils down to. That is where um, we're going to have major issues now and people questioning players' loyalty. Yes, I do believe so. That is where you're going to have people questioning players' loyalty. Because at this point in time, if, we, if, we, if we're going to be honest, if it boils down to the players and they are the ones to make the decision to come, and we don't see some of these players, loyalty will, become, will come under questioning. That will be a factor. Patri you have to be patriotic. That will, that will be a factor. So, guys, um, I won't go any further. Hopefully, guys, have a good day. Hopefully, the squad is released. Hopefully the squad is released and I'm looking forward to see the squad. Definitely that's something that I'm really, really looking forward to. Guys, please enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one. Um, Military Guna TV people. And we